Welcome to our world. It's a world where a quarter of a million people are taken to work, college, school or just for a day out every day. It's a world where two and a half thousand trains shuttle between 464 stations to get you where you want to be. People have seen what investment in the rail service can do, particularly in London and South East. The transformational impact that can have on stations, on areas to help people to get to jobs. And people want a slice of the action in the north. So how are you going to give them a slice of that action? Well, it starts with a vision, a vision for the railways in the north. And we need to work together to come up with a long-term plan which enables us to invest in creating a bigger and better railway. We need a bigger and better railway because these days people often have to travel longer distances just to get to work, because a changing northern economy means jobs are often in one of our major towns and cities. That means we're more and more reliant on local trains. Could the north even survive without its railways? No, because I think interconnectivity within the UK and the regions is a vital, vital factor. And it's not just connecting our larger cities, our big growth hubs. It's connecting our mid-sized cities and towns into those larger growth hubs. So interconnectivity across the regions is vital in, in driving economic growth. But there's no point in a railway that stands still. And Northern has not. Since 2004, £200 million has been invested in making the train fleet better and more reliable. There are now 20% more trains. Stations have been improved. There's better passenger information and more frequent services. It's all paid off too. Passenger numbers are up by nearly 50% on 2004. And these days, Northern scores in excess of 90% for punctuality. More improvements will be delivered over the next 18 months. This is also good, hard-headed economics. Every £1 invested in the North's railways delivers a return of £2 in economic benefits for the region. And while no less than 80% of passengers say Northern's doing a good job, they've also a very clear message about the sort of railway they want to see. We were crushed in, it was appalling, and it's like that every day. Not, not an, it's not a one-off thing that you could think, well, we didn't know we needed more carriages. It's the same every day. Fairly reliable, uh, but I think the trains could do a bit of a refurb. We need more carriages on the trains. That's what we need, definitely. It was very full this morning. There were only two carriages on this morning. It was very full, very you know, busy. Nicer seats. As simple as that? Simple as that. Everything else is fine. Help is on the way. In the short term, we can look forward to more new trains and a better timetable. But as the government has recently said, in the long term, there are bigger issues to tackle. Here are just a few of them. We need to make Northern HS2 ready. Ready to carry travellers onto their destinations or feed them into the new high-speed rail terminals. We need more electrified lines. Electric trains are better than diesels, and the current electrification projects, the lines shown here, could easily be used as a springboard to create a core northern electric network, serving many of the main towns and cities, putting the north more on a par with the southeast. That frees up spare trains to strengthen services on other busy routes around the region. And as passengers are telling us, we need better trains with more carriages and more seats. Right now, too many visitors and potential investors in the north step off something like this. It's a state-of-the-art pendolino. And onto something like this. A 25-year-old pacer train to finish their journey. These trains have had a good life, but there's a strong argument that they've had their day. Replacing them would be a major part of creating a northern rail system fit for this century. Well, we'll have much more capacity, the quality of the rolling stock will be much better, journey times will be faster, a lot of the network will be electric rather than diesel, and we will have created a transport network for the north which is HS2 ready and will really support the northern economy in terms of creating jobs and growth for its population. Predicting the future is never easy, but we can be absolutely certain about one thing. Our railway network is going to be key to building a bigger and better future for the whole of the north of England and a railway we can be proud of.